Welcome back, everyone, to Not the Monsters. This is uh, a short, short campaign using uh, the Not the End RPG system. Uh, we are uh, Fabio, Marco, Arturo, and Vincenzo. Uh, I will be the narrator, and uh, my friends will be playing the monsters. This is the second episode, so if you understand absolutely nothing, uh, that's kind of your fault. So you should go <laughs> back and uh, and see the the, the first episode. Um, actually, the two previous episodes, there was uh, the first one with a session zero where we made the characters and the setting, and uh, the second episode was our first actual uh, play session. This is the second one. And we will begin right on, because after the, the crowd in the town square, uh, just everybody went home or in the fields to keep working, discussing what will happen tomorrow when uh, the uh, the young the uh, the young people of of the town will have to leave to to go in um, to go serve in the navy. Uh, Ketch was uh, retreating to the to the forest to talk with his uh, two companions. So on the way there, uh, I turned to Heat and said, uh, "My dear friend." Uh, what makes you so upset with that guy? You know what they do to our kind? Yes, but you don't know what they do to my kind to mm -hmm. on those ships and on, on their power plants and their steam machines and so on. I have been on one of those ships. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I didn't and know I think. Was. So personal. Unbreakable was the name. The name was not very accurate. Oh. <laughs> but I understand. But you uh, can imagine the worst part is not being there. The worst part is how they get you there. Oh. Because before <laughs> they can, you know, look at me. Before they can take me and put me in one of their engines or whatever they need me to do they have to basically you know shrink me down to the smallest uh essence of my, of my of my being and they did it with what i don't know how they called it but it was basically lots of water cannons mm. and it's not something that you would like to experience i understand and they did something no. similar to the other spirits that they are exploiting on those ships. But I really appreciate what you said about uh, if you try to control nature, you might fire back. Mm. That's something it, it that will, uh, will. we both agree on. Yes. And then we have the problem <laughs> of this one. and. I, Point the finger, eating the head because I'm not used to have another person around. <laughs> so just, okay, and then, sorry. Uh, luckily, you poke me in my hole. Yeah. But I, I, I am wise creatures. Um, I think you know this way better than I do. But I, this is an old story. Actually, they would all, they will always try and enslave nature. Um, uh, I've seen uh, and I've tried the most recent, uh, uh, how can I say, mo most recent weapons, which, uh, in my opinion, are just another way of uh, trying to uh, channel nature's power in some sort of destructive energy. So it's, um, it's something that doesn't surprise me, uh, hearing that they are enslaving you know, such majestic creatures. Uh, for their purposes. Do you want to go to your home then? I do. Do you uh, want to be uh, your friends? It. Do you really want to go to on that ship? Because I think I'm going to sink it. I am asking a question. Burn it. Do you want to yes. free your friends? 
Sorry, who are you asking? Do you, you hit? Do you want to free your friend? Yes, of course. Well, and why solution that you, comes to mind is just burn it down. I can actually burn it down in the harbor so that everybody I, can see what happens. I don't think that uh, as powerful as you are, you can attack the harbor of the city from what uh, I've been told. We might find another way to do it. <clears throat> and I grew quite fond of the two humans, the one that mm. look alike. I, I will never permit them? you to burn it down with the two humans. No, okay. no, 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 I wouldn't let them. On board. What if it happened on the other harbor, on the other side of the sea? In that that way, I, I could I could reach my purpose, and probably your uh, your peers uh, could be set free. Uh, I, I assume they've been captured here, right? Perhaps on the other side of the sea, there is more freedom for them or more chances to survive rather than remain here and be captured again. <clears throat> sure, we can try that. We have to be, yeah, we have to find a way to well, sneak, sneak you, you and catch somehow onto. You can be a ship. torch on the ship. It's yes, I have no problem easy. with that. I can also go with, with Leda. I can just, you know, shrink into whatever flame or something that she carries around in a box but uh you and bones i don't know uh bones we can probably hide you in some some crate or something that do those soldiers i i think those soldiers are not wearing armors right they're too modern to to be Yes, yes. The, the, the soldier, you should imagine the armies and navies of this period as uh, napoleonic uh, armies sure. Isn't there any, and this is uh, uh, maybe Bone asking to the two of you who have more uh, wider experience of modern day life, but uh, isn't, isn't there a way that these humans, I don't know, is there anyone uh, that's socially acceptable as a fully covered, I don't know, uh, as a player, I'm thinking, I don't know, black doctors or... Uh, Ninjas, I don't know, something like that. Is there something uh, such as okay, any kind so of institution doming uh, people? I don't know. I would say that uh, um, by looking at uh, catch, uh, catch uh, uh, character uh, uh, traits, mm -hmm. uh, he probably does not know much about uh, mm -hmm. human culture and uh, the dress. Sure. That's heat, what, that's uh, heat probably is the one that you can yes, yes. Uh, uh, whereas uh, heat uh, okay so heat uh, you have this interesting trait melting pot mm -hmm. what do you mean by this trait because uh, they they i mean incendiary and warm are pretty straightforward but let's explain our audience uh, what uh, the more weirder traits that we have well melting pot means that since i've been alive or around for centuries or, or millennia, I don't, I don't even know. Uh, I have been in contact with all a lots of different uh, civilizations and cultures and so on. So I've been able to learn from them, adapt to them and, and communicate with, with all of them. So I, I, I did gather a lot of information about old civilization over the, the centuries. So I would say think, that that with this, uh, this trait, since this is, uh, I will repeat this rule, since this is uh, basically a knowledge check, <clears throat> we do not make an actual test. I will mm -hmm. just uh, select a trait that I think it's appropriate and give uh, the information if, uh, if it is relevant. And I would say that thanks to this trait, you do know one such figure. Uh, you can make it up. Mm, it can be any kind of, fi or any kind of uh, figure uh, that it's appropriate to have on uh, mm -hmm. a, a ship of this culture. But you also have to come up with one specific item that completes this, uh, this disguise that it's not mm -hmm. quite so easy to get access to. Okay. If, you, if, you wanna, if you want to pursue this, uh, this, uh, this idea of hiding bones in full, uh, 
in a full full body costume basically i, I have a little idea yeah I mean, you can collaborate well, with that well, yeah well, what if uh, there are people in the world that uh, have uh, us uh, magic in himself like humans that mm. are not that they have <clears throat> their innate magic and they control monsters i had something similar in mind something maybe more religious than magic or maybe something between religion and magic and somebody that they can use um, or is useful on a, on, a, on a ship because they have them either control the elementals or I think in this case they would need somebody that can control the elementals. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I would say that uh, the few humans that can understand magic uh, just enough to I don't, I don't want to say control it, but at least uh, ride with it and uh, move it around. They need uh, something like uh, a, a 1800 diving suit, something made of copper with a big oh. helmet with the, mm. uh, the window in front, yes. uh, that, uh, because they, they need so much protection. Uh, so much protection from the, the arcane energy that elementals that enraged elementals that they need to control uh, bring forth. That the mm -hmm. only way they uh, have, very, and they're very strange figures because sometimes they go around with monster themselves because monsters are attracted to the, their capacity to move, uh, to move magic. Hmm. Okay, so the only so. Is this something that we want to make canon? So yeah. uh, the, the humans that control monsters have this... Uh, are they diving suit or something different? No, they, they look like the diving suit, yes. but they are like something very, different. like they are massive, like uh, uh, they look like armors, but uh, you will never be able to fight in one of those. Mm -hmm. like they are like a bulky, like an yeah, yeah. there's so much power in it, <laughs> but... Uh, some monsters are attracted to to these people because of the connection they have with magic and they get enthralled by them. And so you can find one of these in the street with uh, uh, a basilisk riding a basilisk. Them. It's also okay. extremely practical when you're on a ship to wear something like that. Yeah. In case and, you fall and, overboard. And there's also a, a massive tube. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe this is why wow. they don't use elementals in every ship. Right. No, that, no, that's that got to be in I mean, no, elementals are definitely an, an elite item in a ship. I, I think I imagine the, the, the government or some kind of an old time nuclear plant suit of sorts, kind just of, like, yes. Yes. like yes. that, which yes, is yes. kind of similar. Some yeah, it's suit. very similar. It's this very heavy, bulky. There actually, there is a lot of metal there that it's, it's riveted together. It's yeah. not just uh, uh, it's not just like a, a, a seam or is uh, yeah. it's actually there's actually uh, bolts and nails that bolts and screws that keeps them tight together. With uh, so mm -hmm. if we if we find one of those things, it will make it easier because then I'm just a troll that yeah I follow this man. Now the test is to find one of these uh, of course, men yeah. and, and steal the you suit. Put hands. Okay, so th is this your plan? I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's a very cool plan. Yes, okay. <laughs> I like it. So, <laughs> Catch says yes. <laughs> so, do you uh, say anything to the kids, to uh, Lucio and, Le and Lelia, or do you leave them to say goodbye to their family yeah. and pack their bags uh, before they go? To, to the recruitment center. I prefer not to say anything personally <clears throat> because uh, I don't want them, if if we get discovered, I don't want them to be related to us. But they will probably see you on the ship. Mm. Okay, go to them <laughs> and I, I kneel, so, or actually I become smaller, I become like kid size. Yeah. And I just tell them in a soothing voice if I you know, that I can summon say don't worry little kids yeah it will be uh it will all be okay don't worry it's not going to be like last time 
No, no. But last time we, we came back, last time it was just training. It's not going to be just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're gonna die. <laughs> it was just training last time. Yes, it was hard, but we came back home. You will come back home. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, so it will be like, like, like last time. Not everything, but... It... <laughs> uh, okay, the important stuff. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's be kind of like, glad. Let's, they don't... Okay, let's make a test. Let's make a test to see how um, how <clears throat> calming you were to them and uh, how yeah. how they will be. This will influence how uh, how well they will be able to um, keep up the charade when mm -hmm. when you are uh, on the ship. So mm -hmm. uh, it's it's quite it's a medium difficulty test. It has a difficulty of three. Uh, and uh, I would say uh, hit. I will share now your screen. Okay, it is. Uh, there is a difficulty of three. There is no danger. Uh, I will uh, wait, wait use this moment. Wait, wait, wait a second. Explain exactly what's happening here from the yes. beginning. The difficulty okay. of three. How the of game course. works because this yes. is the first test we do. Yes, this is the first <laughs> is, test actually. Is. Yes, so uh, tests work in this way. Uh, every character described by their uh, the traits in their hexagons. Uh, when it when the character faces a test, they decide which traits are relevant to the test that is put in front of them. So, for example, right now, you are trying to calm <coughs> someone. So what would you use? You would use well, yes. I would say warm, at the, the, of course. Yeah. Uh, most of people warm up to me. Of course. And the uh, same, maybe even melting pot, because you, if you I deal with different things. Yes, different exactly. Different so people, I can communicate yeah. with different yeah. people. Yeah, you and, can com oh, OK. And I would also say that perhaps I burn through the ages, because you are very wise, very ancient, very old. So you, you probably command a lot of respect in a kid that is so young. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you say, I've seen it all, they believe you. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so, so these are all as, you, as you can tokens. see, as you can see, there are now four positive tokens. Uh, you can see in the, in the orange box, there are now four positive tokens. Now, I said that the difficulty is uh, three, so you add the three, negatives to three negative tokens. Um, which is normal difficulty, right? Yeah, it's it's medium difficulty. Usually, uh, six is considered almost impossible, and one is trivial. So three is uh, pretty average. Um, there is no danger in this uh, test. We will explain danger later. But there is uh, a little problem that uh, our friend hit uh, as a scar. A scar. Yes. Okay. So scars are uh, you. You can decide whether or not you want to use the scar. What are scars? Scars are a different type of trait. It's actually pretty unusual to have one at the beginning of a game, but uh, this is just a test, so we, uh, we used it anyway. A scar adds a negative trait, a negative token in your bag, not a positive one, but it allows you to ignore the first negative token you take out of the bag when you actually draw. So you add a possible negative token to avoid the one sure ever negative token la later. You can decide if you want to put it uh, put in because it will make the test more difficult. I will uh, finish explaining the test. Whenever when the, to the 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 bag is filled up and everything is accounted for, you can decide how many tokens you want to draw from one to four. Different tokens, positive and negative, never, never cancel each other out. So if you draw three tokens, two positive and one negative, that means that two positive things happened and one negative thing happened. The first positive thing is always that you manage to uh, achieve what we are trying to accomplish. And uh, every uh, second and third and perhaps fourth success uh, is uh, basically a stunt, something that you can make uh, use to make your success even more meaningful, or maybe you can use it as an advantage as an advantage in a later test by uh, empowering one of your traits. 
Every negative token that you draw needs to be resolved in one of three ways. Either as a misfortune, a misfortune is uh, something that in a standard setting could be something like uh, headache, broken ankle, scared to death of cats, a, a condition, uh, a, a condition that is on your character that uh, when it's uh, uh, when it's relevant to the test gets put in the bag as a negative token, and it uh, can and it gets cancelled when it's logical that it is. So if you have a broken ankle, you remove it when you go to the doctor. Um, or you can give the negative token to the narrator, and the narrator uh, complicates the situation in some way that. Uh, um, it's not. It's it's less direct than having a misfortune on you. It's more general, like uh, yeah. um, help arrives for your enemies or something like that. It makes it and then you for are everybody, not only for the person yes. That, it's uh, usually uh, impacts everybody in the scene with you, or maybe not even just the people in the scene with you. And then you have two conditions: uh, adrenaline uh, and confusion. Adrenaline. Uh, forces you to draw four tokens in your next test, which means that uh, basically you are going, you're always going all out. You cannot be, I mean, if you draw one token, it can only go a little good or a little bad. It never goes terribly or very, very well. If you have adrenaline, you go all out. You always draw four tokens and you basically lose your ability to uh, weigh the risks how many risks you want to you want to take? Confusion. Uh, instead of putting in positive tokens, you put in random tokens. <laughs> so it's uh, it it seems that confusion is quite is quite a bit uh, harder than adrenaline because we have not talked about danger yet. And we will in uh, uh, when it comes oh, up, yeah. we will. I have explained yeah. rules for long enough. So fill the bag now with uh, uh, if you... depends if you want to put the... the scar. Actually, I think it applies because when I'm talking yeah. to them, I actually yeah, you have thinking about, about the ship, ship and also thinking about my own experience. And I think this Great. is coming back. Then put it in. Okay, you see now you have a four and four. Fill the bag with uh, with the bag. Uh, uh, but okay, yes. And now decide how, many, how much you want to draw. I think I will draw three. Yes, okay, go. All right, let's do it. Go for it. Okay, Ooh. you actually managed to calm the little girl uh, and she's, uh, she will be able to um, assist you in, a li in some little ways if uh, uh, she finds you on the ship. But you need to decide what these uh, two negative yeah, tokens represent one, one, one goes Just on one. the ah one yes because on the... one you uh, yes. yes the, the scar <clears throat> actually out. yes the scar cancels out the first negative token mm -hmm. so you have one negative token so, I'm so thinking put, of, uh, put a negative token on the scar that is you know that you use it yes grab a negative token and put it on the scar yes yeah. and now decide what you want to do with this token i would say this is I would take it as a misfortune and um, so, something like uh, post-traumatic stress disorder or something. Yeah, like it's kind that. of shaken, you know. It's uh, yeah, yeah. You, you are uh, yes, you, you are li like uh, uh, the terrifying memories or something like that. Yes. Uh, do, okay. Do you, sorry. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. 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 Grab. No. No. Grab. Oh, the, the, grab. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He has okay. to write it. Ah, okay. He has to write. That's yeah. nice. Uh, so, just just phrase it uh, as you wish. Usually, misfortunes are assigned by the narrator, but uh, uh, since it's a very narrative uh, game, we usually uh, suggest that you collaborate with the player to make the best uh, the best misfortune. Okay. So, uh, Lilia looks at you and goes, "Okay, everything will be fine. I'm sure of it. I will tell Luke as well." It's going to be fine. Thank you, Hit. You, you, you really are a light in the dark. And she goes home uh, to 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 pack her 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 bags with with her brother, uh, leaving um, leaving you with your memories of uh, when you were uh, imprisoned in this boiling room of a steamship. Uh, so many.
But I mean, not, not that many, but a few years ago. <laughs> so, what is the plan now? Let's find the man with the uh, with the <laughs> with the nuclear uh, the suit. The radiation suit. Yeah, the radiation the, suit. And... Um, there must be a few the in the city. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can either try sneaking into the city. Remember that the city is not this uh, uh, small village where people are accepting Qu question. you. There is a big power plant just outside the city. There mm. most likely is, yes. This because is uh, they to go all the way yeah. in the city. If there's a power plant, yes. maybe they have maybe people that a... use... Uh, they, they, for sure, not only they have people working there, they probably work in shifts and there are spare suits as well, perhaps, if you are able to, to steal one of, the, of, one of those. And we could even manage to free some elemental on, on our yeah, it, process. It, 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 it will cause a lot of, uh, of chaos, but, uh, and maybe draw some attention, but it's a plus for you. Did the Herald mention when the, ships leave, the ship leaves? They just... Uh, no, I mean, they... You know that uh, the kids uh, are, are to be in the city at noon of the following day. Wow. Uh, so you have at least one full day plus the, the morning of the next day just for them to get there. Then it, you know that they, they, they never uh, set sail. I mean... There's not that many sales, but they never uh, go to sea uh, without doing a little bit of, uh, I don't want to say training, but more like uh, uh, checking every box, uh, uh, giving them the gear. And mm -hmm. so a few days at least, okay. couple, three or four days at least. So we might, for example, just you know wait uh, for one night or one day outside the plant and see if some of these guys are in. Mm -hmm. Yes, they yeah. probably can. I mean, I, I, I'm going to say that uh, the, the, the city of Belizea is not that far away, so moving from the village to the power plant is just a few hours, mm -hmm. even if you need to stay uh, in the woods. But, I, uh, I, think, I think that uh, I will offer myself as a, as a controller there because I can be a boulder. Yeah. I'm, I, I am the one that if he stays just outside the forest, even sitting down, even not being a boulder, I'm not as visible as a living flame and uh, a guy in full armor. So uh, that, that's fair. When you feel the, the heavy steps of the guys in the full arcane radiation suit, uh, the critters can tell you and you can... <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, I sit just outside the, the, the fence Okay. When when he bordered the forest, and I sit there, and I put uh, like uh, other rocks around me, and I just wait patiently, and I see their uh, okay th their you... pattern. I try to okay, do that. so uh, just um, between the forest that you use to travel to this power plant and the power plant itself, there are a few hundreds me hundred meters where the, the woods have been cut off, of course, to make to, to, to not have the, <laughs> not not have the, the forest just <laughs> besides the, the power plant. Uh, do not imagine like a Simpson pa nuclear power plant. Yeah. It's more like an ancient castle. Uh, like a, a, a castle like New Schweinstein, something very yeah. modern in feeling, very almost beautiful with, uh, um, with uh, a lot of uh, small towers. It's not a very defensive castle. It's more like a, a made for... Uh, it looks like, like a palace, like a, a, a palace there, from but the there, are, there are also like... A massive copper pipes going yes. out on the outside. Yes, there are a lot of yeah. copper pipes around. There are a, a ton of rods, of lightning rods on the, oh, on nice. the, roof, on the, on the rooftops. And uh, there is this, uh, this humming, this electric uh, humming that it's very, um, it's very hard to hear for humans because, uh, and uh, there, there is lightning going through, through the wires, uh, but it's clear sky on, uh, yeah. On, uh, oh, yeah. there is a clear sky right now. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yes, <on there. laughs> yeah, on there. And uh, you 
catch, uh, you can see that there are shifts of um, of, uh, of people going in and out, but they are never dressed with the un the, the diving suit. The but only there time are people, there are people with monster with them. No, there are not. The monsters probably are just inside, but what you can see is that people in full suit go out when there's a repair to be made or uh, or something like this, usually, or a disturbance. Uh, maybe you can perhaps sometimes uh, uh, a small pixie, a small uh, elf or something, a sprite flying goes around and uh, buzzes around the copper pyres and with uh, uh, what little magic this creature has uh, tries to mess uh, with um, with the wire. So when, when there is also like uh, let's say that uh, uh, a breakage in one of the pipe. Yes, these guys come comes out. Yeah, they come out because there is arcane energy that flows through them, so they need to come out in full suit. So I gonna. Uh, I can easily simulate back. one of um, one of these. Right okay, so I'm gonna, you... I gonna, I gonna go back to my friend and says with with a stone in my hand and said, "When I throw this one to the pipes, then we can get the guy." <laughs> okay, okay, so it's an ambush then. It's more like a, a call for the need that we have. Hmm. <laughs> an ambush. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't uh, know what an ambush is. I yeah. don't want to feel like fig stupid I figured, with yes. you guys. <laughs> okay, so what? Um, when do you do this? <clears throat> during the night? During the uh, day? Well, I would like to be in, to stay in contact. Uh, I might send uh, one of the birds that lives on me regularly with messages mm -hmm. to to the camp where uh, um, Lucio and Lelia are. To discover when they're gonna leave. Mm, okay, this is going to be very hard actually, mm -hmm. because uh, I mean you don't have homing pigeons on you. <laughs> you you have just craters, and this is quite far yeah. away. I mean it's a few hours of flight, so I will need you to make a test for this. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, basically, this test is to see if you are able to instruct your your messenger bird. Uh, well enough to to have a, a precise and reliable information on the movement of the navy. Okay, okay. so uh, no, I, I need the, I need them just to send messages to Lucio. Oh, ah, okay. Back messages from Lucio on when they gonna leave. Okay, so it it just needs to go once and then come back with the reply. Exactly to know when they okay. leave. Like this, we can act the night before they leave. Okay, so this is not okay. I would say this is uh, also a difficulty of three. Come on, All let's right. say three. So, bang, bang, bang. Let's put the three. Uh, I am uh, sharing your screen. Yes, yes okay. There yes. We go. Okay. Yes. So, so I'm going to put uh, house for critters. I, I think yes. this is not because, the case. Uh, but... I mean, they have to pay the rent. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was saying that I don't think it's the case, but since it's something kind of tricky, in principle, we could help him yes. by sharing our traits, right? Yes. It's not the case, okay. not my case at least. Okay, if, if you in want principle, to help, yes, if you want to help someone, you just uh, see if you have a trait that uh, applies and you help and you give him one extra positive token. You cannot give him, give uh, the other uh, multiple the, the sure. player more than one trait, but there is a catch. Sure. If the person that uh, draws the tokens from the from the back gets at least one negative token, then you that are helping also get one That's negative sure. token. Okay. He, he can get three and you will still get to just one. But sure. one you, you get as well, because now okay. we are part of the test. All right. So, house for critters, because they have to pay the rent. So I put yes. them to work. <laughs> uh, one with nature. I would say I can yes. communicate with them. Nurturing being, because course, I treat him very well. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I would I say I don't, I don't let it go far. 
So I go closer to where he has to go for what the message is. I do it while I'm spying the place. So I will put my mimetism. Then I can mm, get closer to yeah, the... I mean, I, 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 yeah, okay, fine. Because Just because it's, it's your first test. Uh, no, the, you tell me if you don't feel anything. But no, I, I mean, I, I feel that... Uh, uh, that you hiding, said that there are hours. Yeah. Ah, okay, no, I feel that hiding is a different uh, test if we want to make this, and this is just uh, to... But we can make a, 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 a complete test. Yes, go for me meeting then. And that's it. I mean, I can use Fearsome some because if you don't come back with a message, you would... <laughs> no, I, I would that. say, I would say nice this is a very troll thing to do. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So I would and, use and uh, Forest Troll as well. Forest Troll. And... Feel uh, the bag. I feel the bag. And uh, I gonna get, uh, I mean, it's not that important. I gonna get only two. That's great. That's wonderful. Two positives. So, oh. so the, the, the bird comes back with a reliable and precise message from Lucio in a few hours. And the other one? Okay. The other one, I gonna put it, I gonna use a positive to reinforce one of my trades yes. for a, a possible, uh, one of the trades that I used for this test, uh, in which it works very well. And uh, I put it on House for Critters. So next yes. time that I will use House for Critters, that will count as two positive tokens. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, this is one of the of the ways you can use it. You could also use it to uh, improve the, the scene in some little way, but this is more straightforward uh, way. Okay, fine. So uh, you have a precise information on when the the navy is going to to set sail, and uh, it's. Uh, I mean, you have all the time to enact this plan. You don't. You are not pressed for time. Do you decide to do it early on or just the night before? I, I would suggest to do, that's my idea, then let me know if you have uh, any, any concern, but if we do it just the night before, they don't come to hunt us. That's right, people. that's fair. If we fail, then we need a backup plan maybe, but I guess that we should come up with a backup plan if we fail. If not, you fail. Not yes. just now. Yes. We're not going to fail. Also yeah, because I have an idea, because like, when we have captured the person, we are going to Pretend I'm the ghost rider. Like you can set my head ablaze and you're gonna faint. And, yes. And that's so we subdue them by by without even. Ah, uh, no, with this, yeah. and I'm gonna show you another massive rock. That's an, uh, that's Plan B. <laughs> so, uh, what is the plan to simulate this incident and then ambush this poor repairman? Well, I was thinking that would be cool if I throw a stones that is uh, uh, that is on flame with you on flame. Mm, wow! And you are already there when this one comes to repair. We can wrap like, like a, a nice stone with uh, with flammable stuff like this. You are nice and safe even when I throw you. So it's not like it's not a, a stone. It's a stone, right? So you're gonna drop a massive rock. No, no, it's it's, it's a, it's a is a stone this big that for me is like throwing like a baseball okay but so you're already there so you hit it and you're there burning on the side when this guy comes out says oh what i burned i burned the guy this? turn around this see this big throw there's a ghost rider okay and you go like yeah. and then there's okay. a man in armor that just goes around and says, hey can i help you my dear friend okay <laughs> so what do you uh, think? Will it work? Let's see. Can work. <laughs> Let's do something stupid. Why not? <laughs> I mean, you leave catch to decide what to do. I'm relentlessly slow. Well, well, I can't fly, so if you can throw me, it's better. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do a a, a test. Um, I would say that the lead for this test is a catch is catch. But Hit needs to help. I mean, he needs to put in at least one trait and share the consequences of this uh, of this test. 
So uh, what will uh, catch uh, use? No, well, I, I use this. Forest Troll. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> fearsome. Okay. In this case. Uh, stone and Dirt. I also agree. And I think that's it. I would say that in this case, Mimetic helps because you can get closer without being yeah, spotted. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. Um, so, uh, Heat. Which uh, do you did, did you find a trait to you? Do not click on it because uh, no. now, right now is yeah, uh, but uh, which you trait have ever burning in this case? Ever, yes, because you cannot oh, be still... terror in the village, <laughs> or, yes, <laughs> or, or even incendiary. You, you have quite a few traits that can work in <laughs> yes, this case. Yes, that's fine. So let, let's let's say that uh, you, okay. you actually help, okay? So five positive so, tokens then. And uh, how difficult it is to throw the stones against one okay, of those? Uh, okay, it, it depends. Right. I mean, if it's just to throw to throw the stone uh, in the in the right spot, I would say just two. Uh, if you want, let's let's make it two, and then see if uh, you can get some additional advantage for the next test. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> Because I've been always like so nice and so kind to people, and now I'm going to adventure for the first time. This is the first time that catch goes to adventure. Wow, this is a crucial proof. Nice, this so is a crucial test. Let's explain <clears throat> two things. First of all, you may ask, but if he draws three or four, he cannot fail. This is on purpose. Uh, not the end is a very uh, we embrace at not the end we embrace the fail forward philosophy so you it's very hard to fail straight to straightforward just get only negative tokens it can happen but it's not very common usually if you really want to succeed at something you draw a lot of tokens and you get a lot of positives and a lot of negatives so you can usually succeed but always at a cost Almost always, of course. In this mm -hmm. case, you could actually draw four uh, positive tokens. It, it can happen. Uh, it's not impossible, but this is on purpose. The second thing we're going to explain is the crucial test. So the crucial test is how you advance in this game. Uh, when the player decides that this test is actually very important for his character, Marco, in this case, decided that it's it's important, but he does not know how this test will change catch. catch. He, he, will, it, he still does not know. He declares this test crucial, and he, he draws the tokens. Based on how well it goes, then he can add a trait on his, on, on, uh, his character sheet, and uh, if it went very poorly, it could be a scar, such as the one that uh, Heat already has, or it could be another trait. Uh, the point is, let the uh, randomness of the, of, of the draw of the tokens uh, guide you towards the growth of your character. So, go, Marco. I, because it's a crucial one, I will pick four. Okay. May I just... I mean, I love Marco, I love cats. But wouldn't this be the case in which there is also a risk to the test? Since he's throwing something I would say, I would say no. No, because when the, the man the, will come up. The danger is when the man will come out, yes. Fine, right okay, now there is got no. it. Okay, so it went pretty well, I would say. Uh, it went pretty well, so uh, what will you do, first of all, with the, the first positive token, uh, you succeed in destroying the, uh, the tubing and um, basically uh, forcing the, the, the people coming out. I, with the second one, I would like to get uh, the throw so precise yes. that uh, the stone gets uh, uh, stuck above this pipe that I just broken. Okay. This, when the guy comes out with the stairs or stuff to go up, is in a, in a precarious place when the flame reveals himself. Okay. So the the, the, bone, the stone is not on the floor now. 
Okay. It, the it's still is stuck. there where he has to work. Perfect. That's fine. And the third one. Uh, um, the third one. Uh, can I pass it to the next uh, person that we lacked? I'm sorry, the next person? That we lacked. Uh, no, the next one, no in fight. A test. When, when, you, when, when you are in a fight, you can uh, give. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, we're not in a fight yet. I mean, you could, you could use it to help uh, hit yeah. in the next uh, test. Yeah, because. Exactly. So he okay. does a positive more okay. from this test. Uh, okay, this is uh, like a, 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 an adventure to show the system, but uh, we, we like house rules. So if, <laughs> if it feels right, I think it feels right, you can use it. It's not an actual rule you will find on the Kickstarter. Uh, and uh, for the negative one? I put in an adrenaline because I'm 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 doing something <laughs> against okay. my nature. Okay. I'm like uh, woo. <laughs> so does it mean Fabio? Does it mean that I put it on never burning? Just, just a second. Now, uh, Marco, right now or at the end of, of the session, needs to come up with a new with a new trait. Okay. So yes. I I think I will put something close uh, to uh, stone and dirt. Yes, you, 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 you can think about it and then tell us when, when we, after we solved the uh, heat. Uh... The, the whole situation. So, so heat, so. yes. Put, uh, uh, okay, so the, from, from, from the palace, uh, six people come out. There are two um, of these uh, arcane engineers in this full-on radiation suit, uh, full of brass with runes etched on the brass. Uh, they they have actually have um, small rods of um, of metal that grounds them, grounds them to, so that if they are hit by lightning, it can be deflected and uh, dispersed on the ground. Uh, and then there are four. Uh, they can be either guards or technician. They have both a, a belt with tools, but also a musket in their hand. The four guards, uh, they see it is just a, a simple, um, a, a simple um, bre 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 breakage, and they leave the muskets down for the, for the moment, and they are ready to assist the two the two technicians. The two technicians uh, put a ladder against the, the wall and then start climbing up uh, these heavy metal ladders that can support their weight. Uh, one is at the bottom of the ladder and one is climbing, climb, is climbing, climbing up. What do you want to do, Hit? So I would wait for the, the one that is climbing to get close to me yes i mean until i'm assuming there's you know, the, the, the rock in the pipe and then there's a small yes. there is there is both smoke in. flames and uh, yes. sparkles of electricity coming here and also it's it's pretty messy you don't see very well the uh, humans do not see very well in the dark so it's uh yeah, they actually um you are pretty hidden i mean it's not something so we, I mean, if you see a boulder on fire, it's weird, but they cannot see that so well yes. to make out what you are. Uh, and, uh, but before all of this, after I throw it, I turn to the to the to bones and said, "I think you're gonna need your help as well." I agree, my friend. And that's it. And that's all. <laughs> and so what just, you do? I'm waiting for the the guy that, that is climbing to you know to get to my uh, to yes. get to the to the pipe. Meanwhile, I try to see or to feel, I don't know, uh, if Bones and Catch are moving in my direction. I'm guessing they are. I mean, you, I you, am. I don't know if you can see in the dark being a living flame, mm -hmm. but uh, I would say that uh, you know the plan, so you know where to look. And okay. it's even mm -hmm. by, by moonlight, it's fairly easy to see them uh, uh, moving, so you know where they are. Okay, let's yeah, say like the predator. You see the heat. <laughs> yes, I wait. You have as heat much as I can. What basically, when the guy gets to me, I try to en engulf it in flames. Okay, so you you just burst like a, yes. a big fire. Like okay, yes. I try to to maybe uh, so engulf it, engulf him, 
and try you know to make it lose lose balance and and fall down yes yeah, so what what is your goal you want to to burn burn him alive do you want to just scare him what what do you want to do I With think the, based on my last uh, memories that came up, uh, I think I just want to burn him alive. Okay, fine. So go for it. Uh, the test is actually not that hard. I mean, there is danger because there are other uh, there are other guards. Um, guards around. But the idea is this: I would say that the danger is uh, actually four. Danger works uh, in a different way. The higher the danger, the uh, harder it is to get it into play because danger is the number of negative tokens you need to draw uh, in order to uh, get uh, put out of action, basically, uh, get out of the scene. You faint, you get captured, you die if death is something cyclical in this uh, setting that we can make. You Basically, you are out of action for a while. Uh, right now, the danger is four. But the difficulty, I would say that to, to burn alive, I mean, to burn him alive, I would say three. Because uh, yeah, but uh, I think that it's gonna put uh, terrifying memories in there as well. Yes, it's it's very easy to to burn. A per I mean, he's basically defenseless, but for the suite. If it wasn't for the suite, I wouldn't even ask for a test. It would be so easy. But the suite is made to protect them from. Yes, yes, from magic. Yeah. Otherwise, they are basically useless. So it's so, three, you said. Three. And uh, if uh, Terrifying Memories uh, applies, I'd say you get um, Terrifying Memories as well. So four. No, you just click plus, I think. Yeah, but then, I, th I think it counts because uh, you, these are the guys that uh, that uh, enslaved you. Yes, these are the guys yeah, that enslaved They're dressed like that. Uh-huh. I would say... Okay, so mm, pretty three. much all of the, uh, the left side, the left side of your sheet, uh, basically. The village, ever burning, ever burning. Is actually People quite, warm yes. them up to me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, I think this card comes also into place. Yeah, yeah, probably, but you yes. cannot use it because it's a yes, because That's you. Right. you use you need to to get off the to to remove the the yes, negative sure. one. So yeah. it's it's you're done basically. Okay, that's yeah. all you. Yeah, I think this is it. I think birth of the ages doesn't apply. Here. No, it's more. Yeah, okay. so. right. Go go so... for go. Fill the bag and the side. I'm wondering. This is crucial, but maybe not yet. I pick. Uh, Three. Good. Okay. Good. Um, so uh, the the guy goes up in flames, uh, starts screaming, uh, and do you want uh, him to fall down or not? Yes. Yes. So uh, ideally, this is and, the first one. Okay, I, I will ask you this: if you want to engulf him in flame, uh, you need to be with him so either you both fall or you are you are both up and he's burning because basically you are the fire no i want um so the second one if possible or yeah mm -hmm. i would, I would like uh... to fall and make make the other one lose balance or or you know that the you other can, one you, also. you can you can use your second positive token for an extra uh, success. So yes, uh, describe the situation then. Uh, how, so how, does say that, that... How, how does this work? So the, the the guy up on the ladder goes up in flames. Then what? Yes, I, I jump on him, and he goes in flames. And while he goes in flames, he, he kind of you know jump out of the uh, out of the pipe. And still on the ladder, when the, the guy behind tries to, to, you know, to keep the ladder upright, and then uh, the, the the guy on top falls on the other one, for example, and okay. with me, we, we all fall. Say, 
that's fine. That's fine. And what would you do with the negative token? I would say that this is adrenaline. Okay. I guess so. Okay. So you, you're pumped because you're fighting your your enemies, basically. You're yes. uh, the guys that enslaved you. Fine. So uh, now a catch through through the the stone. Uh, hit, mm -hmm. uh, burn the two technicians, and the the four guards are uh, running for their muskets because they understand that something doesn't go very well. What does Bones do? I think that according to plan, I need to disable the guards. So okay, I so I, I need to I need to go, I need to go and help because uh, I think we neither of us would expect four guards and everything. So the situation is kind of getting heated. You know what yes. I mean. So uh, I think I I don't know if a skeleton can run, but I move I move as fast as I can to try and join the action basically. And okay. uh, I, I would I mean to me those two are uh, are still civilians, so I would have tried to subdue them rather than kill them. But the guards are guards, right? And yeah. I think I have a special hatred for uh, fire weapons, so I think I'm gonna. Um, they, they're not holding their their, their guns, right? Yeah, just... allora, so one is uh, has already get uh, has, has already got them, yeah. his musket. The others are still scrambling for it. They are trying to get it back because they, so, they were not expecting uh, this uh, this this ambush, basically. Sure. So if I can make it in time, I try to do something. I, I don't know if you. It's kind of a. I'm, I want to go all. American Psycho on them, like with my accent, but I'm not gonna do that. I, I think that I'm gonna try to control myself and try to either disarm or, if disarm is an option, strike down the guard which is already ready to to shoot at my friend. Yes, giving the others the opportunity to surrender or retreat or whatever it's appropriate. Oh, well, that's fine. So, uh, would, uh, can you share your screen or uh, should I, I? Let me try and do that. So, share screen. And I want to share a tab, which is going to be this one. There you go. Can so, you see my screen? So, what will you use? Uh, okay, I would say that uh, uh, to um, actually disarm one and scare all of them into retreating because they value their life more than they value mm -hmm. the, the pay that the army gives them. They are, there's four, they're not that, that tough, but there's four of them. So I would say mm -hmm. four, four difficulties, four. Got it. I think that being a wandering skeleton can come in handy, right? When it comes to scaling ah, so you people. Change, you, are, you are no longer a skeletal warrior. You are a wandering skeleton. Oh, I, I didn't update. Uh, sorry, I apologize. Uh, this was yeah. meant to be skele uh, skeleton warrior, but so I forgot to... Skeletal uh, warrior for sure will... Uh, yeah, will, will, will I'm going to... Yes. 100%. Yep. Okay, then. Okay, yeah. sorry about that. So this is going to come into play. Now I'm not acting bloodthirsty actually. I'm if I try to disarm them. So in this case, I think this is actually not uh, something that yeah, would apply. I, I, I would agree. I would agree that it's yeah. not. Uh, I mean, you, you it can go either way. But if you feel that it's not appropriate, usually, uh, if if you feel it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. So I don't, yes, I, I think I'd rather maybe eventually because the way I'd like to. to is that I trying to refrain from being bloodthirsty? Then eventually, I might be. But if initially, to, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, my sword. This yes, is, of uh, course. This trait here was meant to be kind of a double take on the meaning here. It's it, it's both a double-edged sword, but also meant to represent, of course, my 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 nature. But in this case, it's a literal sword. Yeah. Um, I, and this, this is another example that I would use in this, in, in that I, I meant here, but that I'm driven by my mission. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, basically, the the very few memories you have are those of fighting. So, of being a sword fighter, so. you know how to use your sword and very little else. Sure. And I and think the rest doesn't really apply here. 
Not yet. Maybe last one standing in the next uh, test uh, if uh, this Maybe. fight goes on. Okay, but so I, I think it's okay. I'd, uh, I think it's that I'd like to accept the lower chances just to play it as I yeah, figure it. I, I, I agree with you there. Is there is there the risk to get out? The mm, danger? Yes, yes. I would say that there is at least a danger of three. Okay. And with three, with three negative, you're out. You have three negatives, you're out of action. Right, that's right. Uh, and so, uh, fill the bed. I think that I think that uh, uh, not, not because wait, I wait. I'll help him. Oh yes, of course. I'll help him because I'm just behind so, you, and I help you with fear. So, great. They so, turn so. around, they see you with a sword that that take the weapon out, and behind you there's a massive troll. Cancel, with a yeah. cancel, cancel the uh, cancel. Yep. And shall then, I manually? Yes. Yeah, and you add one money. And okay. then yeah, fill yeah. the bag. Of course. <laughs> and let's fill the bag. I think I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna draw three here. Not because I don't want to take the risk, but because the attempt itself has not been described as something that I'm going, you know, all, out, all yeah. in. Right. I'm just. I agree. I agree. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, well, that I was went super well. I was lucky here. Okay, so describe the situation. Describe what happens. So I think that uh, what happens from their point of view is that uh, I, from, from the point of view of the like the main guard, the, the one that was fastest to draw their weapon, they take aim at the fiery creature that's just burned alive his friends, possibly. But suddenly, he didn't even notice how a huge... Uh, not that huge, but like heavy, a heavy. piece of metal falls down from uh, vertically almost, and his musket is cut into pieces or broken into yes, pieces. And, and that's when he realizes that there is a frightening skeleton in full armor with a huge <laughs> troll. <laughs> the troll behind it. And then he he realizes that he is suddenly without any weapon in front of two of those monsters that he's been uh, thought to hate for his whole life, and he suddenly yeah. feels like he's not in charge anymore, right? This and guard. I love to... Yeah. So, so I think that the first one goes to disarm the guard, and the other goes to frighten the, yes. the, the, the group. The, the, what happens is that uh, the, uh, the guard with uh, the w whatever is left of of his ma of his musket he throws it to 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 the ground and start uh, getting back uh, slowly uh, when when uh, the troll appears uh, in the in the background oh they both uh, they they, they run all the four of the all four of them they they run away they, they watch the the two yeah. technicians engulfed in flames uh, they, they they don't know what to what to do they, they run, run away they, I'm sorry. They don't run away. Okay, they don't run away. So, for whoever is wondering, uh, enemies act as a reaction of the negatives mm -hmm. you you draw. So, uh, the guards do not have like a turn, but uh, whatever bad things happen to the to the characters can be described as an action of. The guards, of course, if the characters do nothing, the guards will attack and then they will make defensive tests. But uh, otherwise, usually in a in a complicated fight, usually the negatives are the attacks that the characters are getting from the enemies. Mm -hmm. So, what would you like? Uh, okay, so catch you helped uh, Bones right now. Yeah. Hit. Uh, what is your what do you want to do is you are basically are engulfing these two poor souls uh, slammed to the ground they are um, sweating profusely they the, 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 the first burn the, the the very the first degree burns are appearing on their skin you can see it through to the visor there's a lot of smoke going up in the sky and uh, the, they're screaming they're screaming they're terrified because uh, the suit they, they should be basically embers by now but the suit are absorbing most of your uh, magic flame uh, 
but if you keep going, you know, basically you will cook them more than burn them. So when I realize, um, so the reason that why I tried to burn them alive was that when I when I saw this, um, the sweet the sweet the suits, I, I remembered what they did to me. Then I, now I realized that these are not actually the people that did it to me. Yes. So I stand down. And I still, I'm still, I'm, I'm regaining humanoid form, and I have like flames in my hands, and I look at them in a in a scary way with with also with flames coming out of my eyebrows and eyes, and just say, "Get out of the suits now, mm. and leave I, on I, your I, legs." Okay, I, I will not make you, uh, have you make a test because uh, basically this is a, a, an automatic test. Uh, they can be trained uh, as much as you want, but you just gave them a, a, a very, very, very uh, tough scare. So very slowly, because it's very, very hard to do, they uh, unbolt every... There, is, there are a lot of latches and bolts to unscrew. They actually need to get tools from their belt to get out of the suit. It's a very slow process. It takes a few minutes to get out of these suits. Mm -hmm. They leave all the pieces down. Uh, they are so you, when they remove the helmet, they look so scared because now they are without their protection. They they are so scared that you are going to burn them, but they know that you could have done it even with the suit. So they keep doing it. Meanwhile, Ketcho, you were, while this is going on, you were running after the guards? Huh? No, I wasn't running. I okay. stay in front of them as soon as they try to go away. Okay. I just do like... And uh, I say, no, no. Con me. Co? Non vi ucciderò. <clears throat> I think you are... In English. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's very late here. I, I thought it was on purpose, actually. Yeah, yeah that's for, for a second. Talking. I thought it was on purpose. That's your language. Oh my god, he's talking trollish. Yeah, no, no, no. With me, I will not gonna kill you if you behave. Okay. What and, is and I take the stone and I do like, are, are you are you actually uh. I mean, are you are you actually truthful when you say that you will not kill them? Absolutely. Or are you I don't want to yeah. kill them. I don't want to kill them. I don't want them to go <clears throat> and raise the alarm now. Yeah, it's still a test, though, because it's yeah, very hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They want to run. It's a very hard. I mean, I would say it's difficulty is five. Yeah, uh, I will. I mean, yeah. there is no danger right now because they just yeah. want to run away, but the difficulty is five. All right, so... Oh, sorry, I don't think I can you convince them stay here. No, but m m I don't know if this applies, but maybe since I, re I still have my sword, that could be, you, you know, like keeping them at sword point could help or something like that. I mean, you actually destroyed the first one and... Uh, they were running away. A sword mm. is not very threatening. Yeah, yeah there's the no reach for it. I got it. Yeah. Got it. Sure. So, what would you use? Well, uh, fearsome for a stroll. Yeah. Uh, but uh, oh. that's tough because uh, I'm actually very real. I don't want to kill them. Yes, but you are not very convinced. You are not used to be diplomatic with people. That's true. Uh, well, I'm I'm uh, like uh, uh, what's the name? I'm threatening them with the uh, with one of the boulders that I used to to destroy the pipe. Mm, okay. So and you I, and okay. as you see, I have the the new yeah. trait. <laughs> and what do you mean? What do you mean by this? That you are very good at throwing stuff. Huh? Yeah, that I'm uh, that I'm like uh, when I use uh, because the first time that I try something like this and it worked perfectly, so I I know now that I can use this as weapon. 
Great. So, so I like, learned how uh, to use like uh, the Dungeons and Dragons giants that are very skilled in throwing Absolutely, stones. Absolutely, yes. Okay, yes, fine. That is good to so, throw and catch. And, and since you are threatening them with thrown st throwing stones, you can use it uh, here. Okay. That's and uh, five, yeah? Five, yes. And, and you actually to, need to roll uh, and two, I have to draw five. And I have to draw four. Yes. <sighs> Hey, it was fine. about time. <laughs> it's fine. As you can see, adrenaline only lasts for one test and confu confusion as well. Whereas misfortunes last for as long as it's uh, as it's right for them to be there. And I tell you what, I'm gonna put one of the negative on confusion. Because when I say, come with me, I'm not going to kill you, and I see that they're still scared of me, I don't really understand why they're still scared of me, because I'm okay. really telling the truth to them. <laughs> I just don't understand that I just scared them. <laughs> like, uh, hitless. Okay, okay uh, then, so? Well, one success is that uh, they say... They, they just, yeah, they, 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 I, I they, gather them. They are inclined to come with you for a while. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the other positive is that uh, uh, the the two guys that are now without the suit feel compelled to follow because I say they they hear and they say oh, come with me yeah. and they say the guards going. I, I I guess I guess they feel safer with you than with heat. Yeah. So so all the humans that were out there are coming with me. Okay, and the last one, negative. And the last uh, negative, I leave it to you. Okay, and uh, so with uh, six very scared humans following <laughs> you, a bag full of two full suits of uh, uh, anti arcane radiation to mask bones as well as you can, you retreat into the forest, and we will see what this complication will be the next time we play, because this is uh, not the end, but it's the end of this episode uh, yes. of uh, Not the Monsters. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening to us. We hope it was uh, funny and interesting. We are so take, happy. Take, take my sharing away. That is okay. Yes, properly. we are so happy. We are so happy that we finally showed you the system uh, in play. Uh, and uh, we, we hope it was understandable, <laughs> uh, but uh, you will see, actually, the quick start should be available uh, pretty much. Uh, if, if you found, let's say that if you found this show, you are also able to find the quick start. So uh, you can read it everything, you can read everything there. We will see you in the next episode. I'm Fabio. I'm Marco. I'm Arturo. And I'm Vincenzo. Yeah, we bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care.